Once again, William, thank you very much. Um, it was a great presentation. Uh, we asked William to present uh, his view and his opinions on um, Docker hosting for a reason. Um, we want before we go into Kuberdoc and what exactly we are doing, I wanted you to get a sense of how complex Docker infrastructure, Docker community, Docker environment is to understand that there is a lot of different ways that Docker can be approached to. But to say honestly, there is a very simple set of reasons why I and I think you should love Docker. It's an application-based container that lets you package applications. It is very easy to package. It is very easy to update, and it does have high density. I do believe that it's easy to achieve at least five times density versus VPS, uh, VPS format that we're using today to distribute applications. And I'll explain why it's important. So if you think about it, as a hoster, you have several ways to upsell Docker or sell Docker. Number one would be just prepackaged applications for cPanel. Uh, number two would be applications that you sell standalone, like WordPress itself. And the third one is just sell Docker the way Google or Amazon doing it today. You sell Docker infrastructure and that's it. And if you think about it, selling just Docker infrastructure will be extremely difficult. You are going against Google, you are going against Microsoft, you are going against Amazon. They have a scale. It's hard to understand how you can win this battle. I mean, of course, local markets, positioning, marketing, it will all help, but it will be a hard battle. There is, on the other hand, a battle that you can win, at least in my opinion, and that's selling applications. Be be it prepackaged applications through your control panel, be it uh, predefined applications from your website, be it applications that user can start in your environment, it really doesn't matter which way you go. It is something that neither of those giants are targeting and where you excel today. If you think about it, application hosting was here for a long time. I believe the term ISP, ASP uh, application service provider was coined around dot com boom. And then we had PaaS. And uh, one of the main problem always was that, yes, we want to sell applications, but actually selling them, packaging them, updating them, managing them was always such a hassle that it was a rare provider and very popular application which could survive. And uh, Docker will change this. It will allow for long tail. It will allow for uh, selling applications that don't have huge customer base. It might be a customer base of 10, 100,000 customers overall over the whole, whole world. It might be even a thousand. Does it really matter if you can sell thousands of such applications? It's still a huge, huge market. Uh, probably even bigger market than today's market for most popular applications. Let me give you a few examples. And this is a real life example. This is something that one of our customers requested on our forum. Imagine you are Cipano host and you want to give each of your customers a private MySQL server and PHP MyAdmin account. You want to provide MySQL backups. You want to provide uh, updates. Today, it's a challenge to set up such environment. It really is a challenge. It's not clear how to do it. It's not clear how to maintain it. You would have to write lots of scripts, figure out how to do networking, how to, how to do it all. You have to create your own automation from the start. The way we're doing it with Kuberdoc, it should be about two hours to set up something like that in your infrastructure once you have Kuberdoc enabled. Let me give another example. So Redmine, that's a very popular uh, bug tracking, uh, uh, development tracking system. Uh, lots of companies using it. And typically you would install a virtual machine with Redmine on it, and that's basically it. There are several problems with it. First of all, it's not really scalable. I mean, you can scale, but once you start to scale it, it really becomes difficult to configure it and to maintain it. Uh, but with 
Docker images, it should be possible to set up scalable Redmine once again in hours, not weeks, days. And it's not just that you set up one instance. It's something that you can set up and start selling in hundreds and thousands. What about OpenRP? There is a Docker image for that. So that's once again something that you can easily make it available. And there is large number of images just like that that you can use. And there is going to be much more. We spoke with Docker folks, and today they actually focusing on cleaning up their hub. So they will have certified Docker images in their hub. They will have commercial Docker images in their hub. And the idea is that those Docker images will be done in such a way that um, you can be sure that they come from the right source, that they're secure, that, that, that they will be updated in proper time frame in the right way so that you can rely on them. There is also Bitnami who is trying to do the same thing. So today they have a catalog of images for virtual machines but they already started their work on Docker images as well. And this is how we see it happening today. So if you have control panel like cPanel, and we will do integration for many others and provide you with API to support uh, any control panels that you have, custom control panel, doesn't matter. The idea is that it should be extremely simple. It should be a click in the control panel, then customer enters some of the data. This is actually already live, uh, not live, but real screens. And if you look at it, for example, database passwords are pre-generated. They're shown here, but in real life, we wouldn't even show them to the customer. Why would we? There is no reason to ask customers any questions at all if we know the answers already. So we will make the ordering process completely streamlined, extremely simple so that customer would not have to uh, be faced with a lot of choices. And this is basically it. That's it. We're done. After that, customer has their database or WordPress application or Nginx server, anything like that. Their IP, their information about it all will be displayed to them. They don't have to care what's going on on the background. And that's our goal. Similar way with um, predefined applications sold directly from your website. What we expect is that you might package a bunch of application or provide them a selection from catalog like Docker certified uh, images or Bitnami catalog where customer comes in, selects the application, enters the size of the installation that they want, register with you through your billing system, and that's basically it. They got the application. The whole process should take a customer anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And we're not expecting knowledgeable customer. We're actually expecting someone that knows I want that application, but that's the only thing they know. And that's the main goal of Kuberdoc, make it simple to sell applications. Uh, and I believe it will be extremely important in the future. People often don't need compute capacity. They are often are not looking for virtual machines. They are looking for applications to run. It's just that today, to run an application, you need a virtual machine. In the future, to run the application, you just need to click a few buttons. That is it. And we will provide all the integrations, be it with cPanel or any other control panel. Custom control panels will be as easy to integrate as adding a single link and um, the same with billing. Uh, so today it's integrated with VHMCS. We're planning to integrate it with um, audience uh, automation suite. Um, and we're already providing fully capable API that is, is simple enough to integrate into any uh, billing solution. We might also do uh, a variation where you don't even need billing. So if you sell, for example, cPanel accounts and you just want to give extra resources via Docker, we might provide a plug for that. So you can do um, such thing where you say, this customer can set up five containers, no more than 
two cores and that's it and include it into original plan uh, original price of the package for uh, shared hosting and there is a lot of reasons to go that route. First of all, there is clearly demand for that. Bitnami is making a lot of money because people are looking for applications. They are doing it through virtual machine images today, but virtual machine images are really bad comparing to containers. It's really bad from the cost perspective. They cost more to run, they require more resources. They are much more difficult to maintain because upgrades are not straightforward. Uh, they do require some knowledge of sysadmin to actually manage those virtual machines. With containers, you are bypassing all of those limitations. Uh, it's much more dense, it's much easier to update. Uh, basically, it's easier, it's faster, it's safer, and it's cheaper for you to run, which means it's much better profit margins for you as well. <clears throat> and just to say a few words about Kuberdoc as a platform itself. So what we do, we provide this multi-tenancy and automation that you need to sell those applications. We provide the billing, we provide the extra security layer that makes sure that all the networking, all the uh, disk uh, accesses, everything that otherwise is not secure with Kubernetes and Docker, is secure and is multi-tenant, and we provide the billing and control panel integration. It's very simple to set up, should take you two, three hours at most. Uh, it requires very low level resources uh, to start, two servers, two cores each, two gigabytes, 100 gigabytes of disk is enough to start it. Today we support two uh, storage engines, one SAF, the other one is uh, Amazon Cloud, EBS. We will do more. Um, we plan to add ZFS next, but we will add many different systems. And if you are not running SAF and don't have a, a centralized storage yet, we will help you set it up. And um, that is basically it. I wanted to reiter reiterate that I do believe that the main way to sell Docker in the next 12 to 18 months would be by selling applications. That's where most of revenue will come. Uh, and I'm sure it will change. Uh, it might become a huge market. It might be pretty much all that hosters are selling. It might be different that a lot of more companies will be using for uh, Docker in a different form. But if you plan to start in, in the next six months, you will want to start with Docker application hosting because that's the most profitable and the most uh, interesting potential area of the hosting with Docker today.